Talk about Max Player and how he's kind of developed going into this classic. He's had well, a bit of time. Rockley excited about uh, his suburban win uh, over Mystic Guide and Happy Saver, and then for him to follow that up with a, a fast track victory in the Jockey Club Gold Cup. Mm -hmm. You know, it's both of those races at a mile and a quarter, good spacing. He's trained really well. Thought that he looked really good over the Del Mar surface, and then he draws what I think is ideal for him in a race that uh, obviously has considerably more pace in it than his last two races, but we still want to get him in the rhythm that he's had success with the last two races. The Jockey Cup Gold Cup, which has been a very good race for you, yes. um, that would be really satisfying in that the man sent you Max Player, I'm sure, with the idea of winning a grade one and, and obviously being in oh, the races. Oh, absolutely. You know, it, it's a great opportunity. The horses uh, came to us in uh, perfect shape uh, from Linda Rice. She'd done a wonderful job with the horse early. Um, we, we've, uh, the horse has matured as expected, pedigree-wise, and he has stayed uh, extremely sound very good moving horse and uh, I, I think things have lined up to where he's uh, the draw the way the racetrack's playing how he's doing right now for him to show who he is and Clarier I mean you've won the just after the three-year-old filly before with Untappable how she yeah. kind of fit in that category um I'm extremely excited about Clarier in the fact that she is Always been a quality filly, always kept uh, stayed in the highest mm -hmm. level of competition and has continuously gotten better from it. Mm -hmm. um, she has, she was uh, over the winter in New Orleans, uh, solid races, uh, victory in the Rachel Alexander, uh, placing in the Fairgrounds Oaks, fourth in the Kentucky Oaks, and then, you know, from there, you know, mm -hmm. Mother Goose, mm -hmm. Coach Club Alabama, just solid runs a little better all the time and then for her to break through in her last start and the million dollar uh, grade one cotillion you know to close the way she did behind a slow pace and then she has trained lights out since she's been out here in california um, obviously well aware of the quality of the field in this year's distaff but um, claire Air gives us a tremendous amount of confidence that her best race uh, to date uh, will be this Saturday. And uh, how special it is it to train a filly like her for Stone Street? Uh, it it yeah. means everything as far as why you do this, you know, to have a, you know, a millionaire grade one winning daughter of yeah. Curlin and yeah. what he was to us, and then out of the unbelievably brilliant race mare, you know, Karen McLaughlin ran in Cavorty, mm -hmm. you know, just to be a part of that is a great, yeah. <laughs> great reason to be in horse racing. Echo Zulu, which is, you know, great partnership you know, Winchell Thoroughbreds mm -hmm. uh, the Levinson's Nelson's as far as you know people that enjoy the sport and have a, a brilliant filly who is three for three and um, she's coming into the race excellent six horse field drawn six um, I think Philly's uh, training really well she's been nice and relaxed and uh, we're very excited for her on Friday everything that a champion for Gunrunner and his first crop would mean and how proud we would be of that of that accomplishment. Yeah. And my personal favorite, Silver State. Yeah, he's the pretty boy of the group. Yeah. You know, he's just, he's such an unbelievable physical. Um, and uh, he is trained extremely well. Um, had a, you know, on a tremendous run uh, early in the year that culminated with his Met Mile win. And then I thought, you know, he, Things definitely could have been uh, better in his last start in the Penn Mile. And, uh, he is peaking again at the right time, and he will make a great account of himself. You know, as you mentioned, he, he's easy to love. He's just a, a big, beautiful horse that is uh, doing extremely well at the right time. Well, speaking of um, horses that are easy to love that you have in the same race, you got my personal favorite, Snaffer Sinclair. Absolutely. He's the Swiss Army knife, the Swiss Army knife of horse racing. You look at, you know, he's, you know, the the great success that he's had at Kentucky Downs has been extremely fun. You know, I think he's only horse to win three stakes at, at Kentucky Downs, and it being such a fun place, and for him to excel there makes it very special. But uh, separate from that, I mean, this is a horse that was, uh, you know, fourth 
in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile a couple years back, and he is uh, training. His last two races were excellent. You know, he flew home in the Eddie D, and uh, he looks wonderful. And I mean, I, I, he said 18 placings and stakes in his life, and mm -hmm. his 32 starts, and he is, you know, uh, we know that he's going to bring his race. But well, he's he's grade one place tomorrow on one occasion, and he is willing to pick up any slack anybody's willing to give him placed in Saudi and then you know he, he, he will travel well he obviously <laughs> travels well <laughs> the fun thing about Jackie's warrior and you look at all his accomplishments and his three grade one wins and he, he's just uh, uh, absolute uh, fantastic horse to be around and to get the pleasure to run funny thing to me was the gallant Bob was only the second time he'd ever been able to run three quarters of a mile. You know, everybody knows how fast he is and the fractions that he's laid down in a uh, multitude yeah. of races and then uh, for him to finally get the opportunity of what he was meant to do is uh, awfully fun. Yeah. See a horse that um I mean, he's obviously found his niche with the sprinting. And well, the one-turn races, yeah. you know, his Pat Day Mile uh, Derby Week was just brilliant. It was mm -hmm. beautiful. His race in the Allen Jerkins against Life is Good was as good of a horse race as I've ever been involved with. And for him to mm -hmm. just handle it the way that he does. And then uh, just very rewarding to watch him in the Gallant Bob uh, have his way with it. Uh, yeah. and, the way that his attitude is and how he's feeling coming into this weekend but uh, he, he is uh, a brilliant horse that's owned by uh, Kirk and Judy Ro <laughs> Robeson who are some just longtime sporters and wonderful uh, racing enthusiasts you know yeah. just have continuously supported the game and uh, had some very nice horses but very few people ever yeah. have the pleasure of owning a horse as talented as Jack. You've made it kind of a ritual of coming out to California early with all your horses. How's that worked for you and how have you seen it work this time? Uh, I, I, well, what we're doing is trying to eliminate any variable that will keep you from running your race. Uh, to compete at this level, you don't want any excuses whatsoever. Um, I can't say, and we've done it for um, several years um, with the rate, whenever the Breeders' Cup is in California. With great Just success. End of feel that we've been rewarded for it that you know the sacrifices well, you know Scott you know, he hadn't been home for who knows how long you know and uh, the attention to detail that he takes of these I think makes it possible but uh, you know, it, it puts us in the position that we are today and uh, here we are Wednesday of the mm -hmm. Breeders Cup week Friday and Saturday and we, all systems go. We're doing well, settled in, no excuses. You've had an unbelievable year. Well, usually you've had unbelievable years, but this one in particular. Uh, we, you know, we've had some monumentous moments this year that are um, more than just memorable. I, I think that the best way to put it, it started, you know, with I think coming off last year and the pandemic and the uniqueness of that and. You know, my, our old, me and Julie's oldest uh, getting to ride and winning a stake. Just things that you don't think of in your norm, in when you're going about what you're doing to allow special moments like that. And then for the same horse to win a grade one, being part owned by my parents and, you know, get to run in the a horse in the Kentucky Derby for your parents. And, and then setting the North American uh, win total record, something we've been aiming at a long time. I, those... You know, blessings uh, for us to, as a family, be able to look back over ground covered has been extremely special. You, in this game, you're, you're diligent and you're working as hard as you can going forward at all times. But the, a couple of the uh, accomplishments of the last year have allowed us to reflect and um, enjoy or respect or. Um, relive uh, things that we have accomplished. You're unabashedly goal oriented. Um, do you know how many Breeders' Cup wins you are behind Wayne, who's the all-time winning uh, No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. No, no Wayne's Breeders' Cup <laughs> wins are, I, I need to worry about, you know, these horses running their best race when it matters. And I feel very good about that uh, right now. And uh, we, 
and look forward to a great weekend.